Hey guys, it's David from Automotive Press. I'm back in Vancouver where it has been snowing for the last several days. It's beginning to melt, but it's an ideal condition to test out the Nokia WRG4 tires we installed several months ago. It's been pretty warm over the winter time, but we finally have some snow and better yet, this morning it's freezing rain in some parts of Vancouver. So I'm gonna take you back into my RAV4, which is my wife's car actually, and let's see how this thing performs in snow, wet condition, and also some freezing ground. It's really going to be interesting to see how WRG4 hold up to the condition that we have right now. So let me take you for a quick drive. Welcome back. So as you can see, Vancouver has been blanketed with ice, snow, and freezing rain. Uh, and even though some of the snow has melted, it's actually a better condition to test the tires because we now have a mixture of snow and ice and some water and it's really slippery. So let's see how this WRG4 functions in this condition. As you know, I have been very happy with these tires over the last several months. We had many of the previous version WRG3s installed in our cars and we've always been extremely happy with Nokian but uh, this is the first time I get to test out the WRG4s in this condition. Now keep in mind that Nokian has also introduced a brand new version of this tire called the Remedy WRG5s which are not quite out yet so I won't be able to test them out yet but I look forward to maybe see how they function as well but for now let's see how the WRG4s perform in this road condition. So let me start with uh, this slope here which is pretty slippery. Uh, again ice, snow, and rain and freezing rain mixed together uh, you know what it just climbs up like nothing as if there's nothing going on most car would really um, struggle with this one what i'm going to do is go around and drive purposely on the packed snow section to make it even harder for this tire to uh, grab onto the ground so let me first turn around oh braking is actually pretty good too you can hear the anti-lock brakes uh, functioning as they should uh, so now this part is a little bit higher elevation, so it's still pretty frozen. So I'm gonna go down the hill here First stop. Yeah, actually not bad still. There's some cars stuck. You can see ahead over there But uh, I'm not gonna go that way as a result So I'm gonna go down this slope and this part is not so bad. You can see Some parts of road has been cleared. So obviously no problem uh, once again as I mentioned previously in my um, review of these tires that are very comfortable really quiet uh, they function more like winter tires than they function like uh, all season tires so what I mean by that is that they are closer to winter tire than your typical all season tires uh, these are all weather tires with um, uh, mountain peak symbols so they are good for any kind of condition you can drive them to Whistler or other parts of Vancouver where uh, special tires are required. So let me come back to um, this area here and see if I can climb up the same slope. I'm going to drive purposely right on the snow as I am doing right now. I'm purposely driving on the packed snow section and even when I step on the gas, yeah, this RAV4 Prime just climbs up with no issue at all. I, I think these tires are just as good as uh, full winter tires. I can't really tell the difference between how they function and for winter tires. Okay, let me climb up this hill again, but this time I'm going to purposely drive over some of the slippery areas. I'm gonna purposely slide over to this section here on the left where it's all packed snow. I gotta be careful because it's sloping there. I don't wanna slide down into the ditch, but look at it. I can just keep on going. You're driving right over like a bulldozer. And it's pretty crazy that I've got both tires on top of the packed snow and it's not even sliding really very little problem if at all and here I am on top of the hills again so it's performing as it should in the sense that these are really winter tires but can be driven throughout the year as all seasons and this is the best of best because you don't have to worry about you know switching from all season to winter or from summer to winter and back again uh, every six months that is just a hassle especially here in vancouver where we don't get that much snow this is our first heavy snow and therefore it's just a bit of a hassle if you have to keep on switching at least here in the west coast 
um, just to get back on the driving condition here I'm driving now over some ice these are kind of frozen here I can tell and I can kind of drive all different directions across the uh, condition here and once again no problem at all it just keeps going like a tank I think the RAV4 uh, all-wheel drive is also really good and even though this four-wheel drive system or all-wheel drive system is different from let's say a uh, 4Runner or my Lexus GX you know what these function really really well um, so you can tell a lot of people get stuck in this condition last several days but uh, we've been fortunate because um, this car can go pretty well anywhere and uh, it's even better than my Lexus GX with all season tires because of these Nokia and WRG4s. Okay, so let me go down some hills now to make sure the braking also works, which is just as important as traction. So you can tell right here, lots of frozen road condition here, frozen snow, I should say, and, and it's uh, sliding a little bit, but still, absolutely no problem at all. I'm gonna go down this hill a little bit carefully just because they're parked cars but i don't suspect any issue so let me step on the brake right on top of the packed snow or ice yeah it still grips pretty good it has no issue whatsoever i wouldn't go fast still that's because it's just very slippery you can tell there's a car stuck in here it's a new prius uh, part of a car sharing program and yes this person is really stuck and can't really move let me see if i can find another heel here because there's a number of um, slopes here in this particular residential area and it's a really good test of these um, all-weather tires. Once again, if you are living in a condition where you get both snow and slippery conditions but you don't want to switch back and forth between winter tires and summer or all season, all-weather tires are the perfect situation. I know some people think it's a compromise but actually so far I don't think that these are compromises because they perform just as well in summertime as they do in wintertime. They are softer tires, definitely, but what uh, that translates to is that they're a little bit quieter, even in uh, normal, uh, let's say, summer or fall conditions, and the ride is very soft and smooth. Uh, maybe a tad noisier than the all-season tires that came with the RAV4 Prime that we're driving, but, uh, but you know, not much, maybe 5% more. All right, so back at this area, which has lots of snow, and ice mixed in as well so i'm going to drive up a little bit of a hill here uh, although it's not too bad right now you can see the bare uh, road so it's not so bad but let's see if i can go up this hill here there's a little bit more snow and then one second i'm going to try to line up the tires right on top of the packed snow i don't know if you can see that the two packed snow here so i'm actually not driving on the bare patches of the road but right on the packed snow and it's definitely sliding because it's really wet now but look at that I can just keep on going up no problem at all and let's see if I can break here no issue at all so I'm just as confident driving with these tires as I would be in true winter tires because these one have the mountain symbols they're certified and allowed to be driven on any road conditions even up to the mountain uh, I'm not sure if this guy is stuck or not, but no, I don't think so. Uh, but a lot of people are just really careful right now to go anywhere in Vancouver because the snow are really kind of partially melting, which means that they're also partially frozen. And icy conditions are even worse than uh, snow conditions just because they're very slippery. But so far, these tires do well in both uh, normal condition, snowy conditions, rainy condition and now icy and snowy conditions. I'm back on the normal road here, and it's a little bit bumpy here, but you can tell these tires are very quiet, uh, smooth, and most of all, they're refined and comfortable. You're going to find that uh, when you, uh, let's say, move from your normal all-season tires to these Nokian WG4s, that your passengers might say, hey, the ride is a little bit softer uh, um, because the compounds are a little bit softer and so forth. So. My wife couldn't really notice much of a difference between the OEM tires and these tires. Um, and she said she liked these just as much as the OEM because of that reason. For me, because I have a background in car testing and car evaluation, I didn't notice a, a slight difference in ride. Uh, if anything, like I said, it's more comfortable, so it's an ideal tires for those people who want comfort and refinement. 
if you want maximum performance because let's say you have a sports car then you might not want to use these tires you might want to continue to have summer tires and switch to winter tires just to maximize the performance and the handling and so forth because you wouldn't want to compromise sports cars with uh, all weather tires but for 95 percent of you who drive cars as a daily driver and you want to economize by not having to have two set of tires then these are ideal ideal tires and even though there are many other uh, all weather tires in the market i think these are the best uh, many of you guys commented about the uh, michelin cross climate both the first version and the second iteration and they are obviously perhaps one of the best um, all weather tires but i actually like the wrg4 better because these are closer to winter tires with a little bit more bias toward driving in winter time and for me that's better just because i really want all weather tires that are as close as possible to winter tires so that they can perform the best in winter but i can still drive them all year around so i hope you enjoyed my update to my experience with wrg4s from nokians once again they have introduced a new version called the wrg5s i'm not quite sure how they're going to perform against uh, this version but i look forward to testing them out in the near future as well for now i'm really enjoying the wrg4s and like i said these are the best all weather tires that you can buy for the money right now uh, regardless of where you live in North America or anywhere else for that matter. If you enjoyed my video, I would appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up and make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. And until next time, I'm signing off for now. I'm back to shopping.